Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. Top tip number 14 is luminosity masks. Now, this often is considered as an advanced workflow when working with curves inside of Photoshop CC to adjust tone. And what we can do by using luminosity masks is we can restrict the curves adjustment just to a selected range of tones. To be honest, I don't use this technique as much as I used to because when we're using highlights and shadows, either in Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom, we're already protecting um, the tones that are not highlights or shadows. Uh, I often consider this as an old school technique, uh, but some people still want to do a lot of retouching work inside of Photoshop rather than Adobe Camera or Lightroom. So I thought I ought to highlight this technique. Okay, so let's go and uh, create a luminance mask. I'll click on the channels panel. I'll hold down the command key on my Mac, that would be the control key on a PC, and click the RGB thumbnail to load the luminance values. Okay, now let's come back over to the layers panel and bring up a curves adjustment layer. So I bring in curves and hey presto, a luminance mask is created. Now I'm going to option click the mask so we can see what's inside the mask. Now if you know about masking, the darker tones in this mask will prevent um, the adjustment from taking place as much as in the lighter areas. Okay, so um, we can actually expand uh, the contrast of this to protect the darker values even more than they're currently being uh, protected now with this uh, grayscale version of the image in the adjustment layer mask. And uh, we can apply um, um, a variety of different adjustments, not from the adjustment layers, but from the image adjustments menu. Uh, I can, for instance, select levels. This will, this, these tones on the histogram here will be the lighter tones in the background and I'm going to clip those tones to white just by bringing that uh, white input slider in um, to that histogram there. I can also bring the um, input slider on the levels um, to make those shadow tones a lot darker. Just getting a little bit of grey there so I might drag that in a little bit further. You could uh, similarly apply um, a contrast, a brightness contrast um, adjustment feature there as well. Now in order to make that uh, hair even darker, I'm going to use um, a technique which uses a blend mode. I've selected the brush tool uh, in overlay mode and I'm going to be painting maybe not quite at 100, maybe 60 or 70 percent. Select the black as the foreground color. Now if I've managed to clip those background tones to white, the blend mode will protect those lighter tones. As I paint, we don't see much occur. And if we, if that is absolutely clipped to white, nothing will happen at all. Okay, so, um, but as I paint into the darker tones, it's going to have a profound effect. Pretty much any tones that are darker than a mid-tone will be made um, darker with this tool. And we can make a couple of passes if we need to protect that hair as a solid mass from the adjustment that I will make shortly, which is, um, uh, to uh, lighten the skin tones. Now we've got some skin tones that are going a little bit grey there so I'll just switch over my foreground colour to white using the X key and I'll paint those a little bit brighter there. Okay and if a couple of passes should get those tones uh, going back to white and they were probably a little bit dark rendered by the original adjustment but you can see that taking place. If I don't want to affect the bridge of the nose I could paint that out as well um, and any other tones that I want. If I want to leave the lips a little bit darker I'll switch back and just paint those and this is going to look a little bit odd but I'm not editing the image I'm adjusting the layer mask associated uh, with this um, uh, curves adjustment layer. I'll click on the curves icon just to come out of there 
Now we haven't actually made any adjustment with this curve yet so if I switch on and off the curves adjustment feature it's not going to make any difference until I go into the curves dialog and now make the um, skin tones or mid tones lighter and as I push those skin tones lighter what is happening is the darker tones such as the lips and the hair are being protected from this adjustment. Now basically what we're doing is we're making a high key image using this uh, adjustment feature here. Okay, now if it wasn't for that luminosity masks, if I hit the shift key and uh, click on that mask, you'll see if I didn't have that luminosity mask in place, you'll see the curves adjustment will impact on the hair as well as the skin. Okay, and this is why luminosity masking is considered uh, the bee's knees um, for image retouching inside of Photoshop CC.